Thank you, friends, for joining this session. And today's session, we are going to learn all about geometric dimensioning and tolerance. And let us understand one by one all these important characteristics and how to provide that. But before that, let us understand what is datum. So datum is, you are assuming that ideal surface or axis or point area. You are assuming that it is perfect, but that is not true. You are just assuming that it is perfect. So on the screen, you can see one drawing is there and the bottom face of the component, the datum is provided, that is datum A. And here one symbol is given, we can say the feature control frame, this frame is called as a feature control frame, where you can see this is the geometric characteristic, that is perpendicularity. Then the second one, this is the geometric tolerance. And third one is datum reference letter. So some characteristics requires datum, some characteristics they do not require any datum. So form categories, all the characteristics, they do not require any datum. Other characteristics like perpendicularity or parallelism, they require datum. As a design engineer, we have to understand that datum, when you are specifying, that means that is a very important surface. Maybe you are mounting surface or maybe that is the first machining surface. You can consider that as a datum. Take one example of a engine block. When the engine block is manufactured, the process is sand casting, right? Now, when the sand casting component is produced by this process, sand casting, all the surfaces, you can see the surface roughness is very poor surface finish is there, right? Now, there is one fixture which is called as a targeting fixture or averaging fixture, which is used in the foundry and their first machining is done by considering all the machining allowances from all the sites that you ensure that all the uh, proper machining allowances are possible. And when you clamp the part, some machining is done. And this machining reference can be considered as a datum, for example. Now, when you send this component to OEM company like Tata Motors or Mahindra, by using that reference, they will, have, they will be having machining setup, like SPMs will be there. And with that reference of that particular machining process, which is done in that company earlier, then their machining process starts. So when they go for a particular face milling or machining, that surface can also be considered as a datum, right? So let us understand various characteristics and categories. So first is tolerances of form. There are various categories, like one is form category, another is orientation, one more is location, then the runout is there, then profile is there. So these are the main five categories in GDNT. So one by one, we are going to understand all the characteristics and categories. And at the same time, we have to understand that when you are providing a particular characteristic, what are the various agencies also they are working together? Let me give one example to you. Suppose you have designed a product and say it's a component which is machined later on. And once you release that drawing, then manufacturing takes place, right? Machining will be done. And next part will be quality assurance, means they will check the component and then the product will be uh, fitted on the particular product or vehicle. Now, there are three agencies. One is design engineer. Second agency is production engineer. Third agency is quality engineer, right? Now, when you release the drawing, suppose, imagine, design engineer is not having the knowledge of GDNT. And when he is releasing the drawing, of course, you will not get the quality of the product, right? Now, second agency. Design engineer is having this knowledge. He has provided all the various characteristics as per the functioning or reliability part. But the manufacturer is not having this knowledge. So there is a possibility that wrong part may be getting manufactured. Means the part he has produced, that is a vestige. Now the third agency, let us understand. You have created a drawing. You are a design engineer. You have provided all the characteristics. Manufacturer, he is also having this knowledge. 
he also is trying to achieve that but the quality person he doesn't know how to check that characteristic and that we are going to understand so that is the possibility that wrong part may be getting selected so these are the three agencies they have to be in line with what is the aim that means i want to produce a quality product so the first characteristic in form category is flatness here on the screen you can see there is one simple drawing and the symbol you can see it's like a parallelogram and the top surface is provided with flatness this is 0.1 how you can inspect this flatness which instrument you are going to use so dial gauge is very important instrument which you are going to use while checking the flatness the flatness when we say flatness what is the meaning of flatness so all the points on a particular surface they are in one plane that is the meaning of flatness here on the screen you can see here the dimension tolerance that tolerance is 0.1 when you produce the component even though the surface is having some irregularities that is acceptable but the zone is 0.1 means that is a geometrical tolerance now we have to understand that when to go for a flatness generally when we say datum is to be provided and we are assuming that datum is not a perfect surface we are assuming that it is perfect so there are some irregularities for that particular surface also so most of the times to define a datum any of the characteristics in the form category is used to define the datum getting my point so when you specify a datum that surface you can provide with flatness that means it's a important surface and which are those components where flatness is important you can imagine all the mounting surfaces say for example manifold mounting on the engine head there you have to provide a flatness engine head mounting on the engine block there you have to provide a flatness or engine sum you can say visualize engine sum at the bottom side one sheet metal component is there and you are providing that flatness or you can say uh, sometimes it is a casting component also or say gear carrier assembly where differential is there so when you are mounting a cover on the gear carrier that may be a sheet metal component and you have to provide a flatness for this particular component now how to provide this generally most of the times it is done by fmea okay the process failure mode effect analysis and it's generally a cft approach means cross functionality that we have to understand so flatness we understood that you have a better control on the particular surface which are related to mounting or where you can avoid the leakages so flatness is also important when you want to avoid the leakages 